In this lesson, I will teach you how to use the multiplane camera in TV Paint. Contrary to the camera tool that we may use for the storyboard or animatics process, the, cam the multiplane camera has the big advantage to define several planes. Every plane is based on a layer or on an image, and it also has the advantage to set in place a camera. The camera and the different planes can be moved separately and that's thanks to this effect that we have the possibility to have depth notion with different layers. Just show you an example. So here we can obviously see uh, the elements in front of us and the elements very far from our eyes. So let me first of all show you the original project. So the background that was uh, made on a very, very uh, wide definition. Before using the multiplane camera, the first step is to define the different planes, the different layers by using the library. So we'll just display the current layers like this. So we can see all the layers that were necessary to make this wonderful landscape. And I will save each layer separately in the library. So let's open the library. I make a right click and I will add current layer image like this. And I will repeat the process on all layers. Now I will create a new project since it doesn't make any sense to create the multiplane camera on the original background. Of course, since each library is um, embedded with the project, I need to copy paste the library I have from this project to this one. So I will select all the images by using Shift and click like this, and then I can make a right click to copy the references. Here we are. I can close the library. As usual, I will give a duration to my layer. And I will open now the multi-pen camera. The multiplane camera is set in the subcategory motion, just here. So now I have to define the planes step by step. I will click on the planes and I will create a new plane. I will change the source and use an element from the library. I will start with the image in the background. For the exercise, I will just take also the color panel since it will be useful and you will discover why in very few minutes. So now I have my background and I will give it a depth value. So let's use like this. Okay. I will create a new plane from library and I will use this one. And I'll give also a depth notion, not the same. And I will also pick up a color. At the moment you don't know why I'm doing that, but you'll see in very few minutes it's very useful. A new plane. Library image. and a depth notion.
No, I have finished to set all my plans. I have the possibility to open the stage. So I see the different planes with their own depth value. We can also see the camera just here. And now let's place them following their real depth from the camera. So we'll use plane first, yeah, and I will change that, that notion. And I can even cheat a little bit because if I take this plane too far from the camera, from the camera view, you can even see here the camera uh, angle. Well, then here the background uh, is too small for the camera. So I will have to cheat a little bit and increase the size. I will have to rescale this plane. Let's move it by the hand and let's increase the size. We can close this one, I don't need it anymore. And let's do the same for the other one. And here is the result. But at the moment there is no camera move yet. So let's open the stage again. And let's now create a key for the camera. So I will create a key like this. I will go at the end of the layer and I will move the X ax the X axis. And let's enjoy the result. We can eventually increase the depth notion by moving some layers separately, some planes separately. So I can create a key for this image, for example. And then at the end, make it move faster. You see here, this element will move faster. Of course, to set properly the camera, it needs a lot of time. And just to show you quickly how I define the camera on this project. So here is my different plans. So you can see each plane are very um, far from each other. 
especially those ones. And I also play a little bit on the speed profile to have these results. Now it's your turn to try.